Peace. Assalamu alaikum. This is your brother, Raheem Ali, your investigative reporter. I investigate and I report back to the people that which is truth. Today, or tonight, depending on where you are in the world, I'm dealing with a guy named the Hajik. He seems like a real big uh, fan of Joshua. And he tells me that Joshua did me in the debate. Okay, whatever. If you're a fan of his, of course you're going to agree. That don't make it right. I won the debate. I haven't seen Josh since. And I've even put out a affidavit to debate Josh again. But that's the size of the point. What I want to talk about is the Hajik. He said a bunch of things. My flag was uh, Al Qaeda, and he didn't even spell Al Qaeda right. But that's besides the point. I won't argue that point. He's stupid. And then he comes with the unicorn thing. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make a video and I'm going to present it to let people to see how fanatic a Bible thumper he really is. He's not really thinking. So I'm going to show you how ridiculous the Hajik is. And whatever that hajik means, I don't know what it means. Sounds ridiculous. Okay. So he talks about this unicorn thing. So I said I'm going to get into it. it. says, the World Book Dictionary, unicorn. Now, a single horned rhinoceros or wild ox. So I'm, I laugh. I said, yeah, I'm going to make a video showing how ignorant you really are. Okay. He said it was... In a different uh, verse that he wrote above, he said it's an Indian wild ox. And being that I put up a Britannica uh, site to show that um, the definition of a unicorn, he said I didn't, I didn't really read the other part that it said whatever he said. But I'm going to show you. A rhinoceros is not a unicorn, and a wild ox is definitely not a unicorn. Okay, so um, let let's let's get into this because this 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 has to be resolved. Okay. Now the thing with this is, I'm going to start from the beginning again. This is his Bible his people saying this okay from the Harper Collins study Bible I, it's like I have to do it again it's like when Elow or Elohim or God in the Bible keeps telling the people to worship one God he keeps telling them over and over because they hard headed so he's hard headed so I gotta put this up again it's not coming from my Quran or the Paranas or the Vidas or any Mayan or Aztec holy books, it's coming from your own book. Anybody can pick up the Harper Collins Study Bible. And it says your Genesis and the Bible, period. A mixture of myths and legends. Okay, so I grabbed one of the myths, and one of the myths were the uh, unicorn. There's no such thing as a unicorn. You know, Jesus didn't know nothing about it, Mary didn't. It's, it's, a, it's a myth, okay? Straight up. So, what I did was, I put up the Brentatica before. And then he went into it and said, I didn't read all of it. And it basically said, the um, he, were, he read, it's an Indian rhinoceros. But what he didn't read was this. Britannica Concise Encyclopedia. Mythological animal resembling a white horse with a single horn on its forehead. The unicorn was depicted in Mesopotamia art and was referred to in the ancient myths of 
India and China. He went right past ancient myths of India and China. It's a myth. Even there. But he tried to use what it said Greek literature dates from 400 BC and probably, they're not even sure, probably refers to the Indian rhinoceros. Okay. If he's saying the rhinoceros is the unicorn, it said in the ancient myths of India and China. The Hajik, it's a myth. And then it goes on to say, the unicorn was believed to be fierce and difficult to capture, but if a virgin were brought before it, it would lay its head in the virgin's lap. Are you kidding me? Are you, uh, a, a rhinoceros can only be seen by a virgin or captured by a virgin. That's crazy. So we're gonna we're gonna move on now that you see. It's a myth, even in India. The Bible was nowhere in in India, so it's it's just not. The people were nowhere in India of the Bible. They were nowhere. It was in Arabia, Egypt, and up and down the uh, coastline of basically Gaza Strip, Jerusalem, so forth. Okay, let's move on. I have another piece of proof. This is from the New Lexicon Webster's Dictionary of the English Language. It says, a legendary animal generally depicted as having the head and body of a horse, the hind legs of a stag, which is a deer, the tail of a lion, and having a long tempered horn growing from the middle of its forehead. In the Middle Ages, the unicorn was a symbol of strength and virginity. Its powdered horn was safe would safeguard one from poison. Come on. His horn? Come on. And you can read the rest. So it's this myth. Okay. So I did what he said. You know, I looked it up. Wikipedia, as you can see. I want you guys to see it for yourselves. It says basically wild ox and what do they call oryx or wild ox that's what he said wild ox so I went to Wikipedia looked up wild ox I already knew what it meant I just did it just to do it okay and then Wikipedia says this the aurochs also Eurus, the ancestor of the domestic cattle, is an extinct type of large wild cattle that inhabited Europe, Asia, and North Africa. They survived in Europe until the last recorded aurochs, a female died in the Jactoro forest, Poland, in 1627. If you go there, you can read the rest and so forth to please your own desires but that's what it says but it never says it's a myth now in Wikipedia that's what an auric look like has two horns here's a wild ox India two horns okay that is not a unicorn it's not growing out the middle of his head. And I gave many definitions. There's a spiral white horn coming out the middle of his head. This is two horns coming out the side of his head. This is a rhinoceros. Still not a unicorn. It's a rhinoceros. This is a representation of Manasseh and Ephraim. The ox and the unicorn. If the unicorn was the ox, there wouldn't be no reason to depict an ox in this picture so it shows 
that an ox is different and a unicorn is different. But an ox is real, unicorn is not. There, there it is right there, people. I told you I have a plethora of uh, info on this. So basically, there you have it. The guy wants to be an idiot and look stupid. It's a myth of India and China, the Hajik. So you don't have to keep bouncing back and forth with me about it. You, you see it for yourself. And once again, people, like I told Hajik, if he wants to debate me, go to Sal and we can get it on. Keep my cool because I know I have my information straight. He's a fanatic Bible thumper spreading religious poop. And I will be his pooper scooper. And I say peace. Salam alaikum, hotep. And uh, seek knowledge from his wherever you are to China.